I love pho, but I have no idea how to make it. None. All right. Well, that's. I guess we're coming, right? So we're gonna start off um, with some lean ground pork. Okay. Now, right. when uh, ground meats, there's different standards. I know. There, yes, there actually are. So the Canadian Food Inspection C has standards for all ground meats that retailers sell. Um, what you want to look for in the store is the word lean, um, and that means that it contains 17% fat or less. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, extra lean would be 10%. So we're using some lean ground pork today. Um, we've already started uh, frying it up or browning it. Yep. And uh, it takes about 10 minutes. You want to make sure that there's no hint of pink ground pork like all other ground meats needs to be cooked to well done. And pho is like, but pho is like a soup, right? Pho is but a it's soup. like a really hearty no, meal. No, a pho is actually, um, it's a traditional Vietnamese type of, of a rice noodle soup. And uh, that's what we're going to be making, and we're going to make it with ground pork rather than other other cuts of meat. Like and this is the one that also includes Susan's um, secret secret ingredient. ingredient. Yeah, <laughs> she's all over this. Watch, it's coming okay. up right it's away. It's coming up. It's okay. coming up. Okay, so, so we've nice. got our ground pork um, nicely done. If there is a bit of fat or liquid, you can drain that off. Yep. Um, we're going to add a uh, green onion. I want to show you. We're using the whites and the greens of the green onion. Um, the whites are going to go in now, and the greens we're going to use for garnish. Okay. We've also got some freshly grated ginger, which is a must for any Asian type of cooking, as well as some garlic. Nice. And we would like to let that cook for about another two minutes. Okay. All right, once that's kind of cooked a little bit more and the, um, the vegetables are a little bit tender, we're gonna add um, some chili garlic sauce. Nice. This is an Asian garlic sauce. So add about a tablespoon of that. That stuff's awesome. It is. And we'll Pork's also Pork's versatile. Add, it That's is very versatile. another reason why I love it. Some rice vinegar. Yes. Got a tablespoon of that. Good. As well as some light soy sauce. So mm. you keep stirring and okay. I will pour this that This is going to be in. crazy good. It is. It's already smelling delicious. Now we can't forget some Asian five spice. So I'm What's gonna, that? It's uh, basically a blend of spices. It's nice. got clove, cinnamon, um, a few other ingredients in it. Good. All right. And then once that's cooked for about another five minutes or so, we're going to add Whoa. some chicken broth. Is that broth. that stuff that I'm smelling? That is. That's Isn't crazy. That nice? Yeah, it's good. So we've got about six cups of chicken broth that need to go in there. I so can we'll do that. add that now. Okay. That's like one and a half of these. Right. All right. Yep, yeah, just a full container. I'm going to do both Here. at the same time. Yeah, no, double handed. I do this all the time. <laughs> Look at that. Excellent. So that's going to make uh, make the base or, for our broth. I'm not going to lie, it's taking way longer than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I think, make that's sure you good. don't put the whole container. No. Yeah, that's perfect. And uh, we would let this come to a boil. Sure. And then once that's boiling, we're going to add our vegetables. So you okay, keep there's still that. the wild card here. There and is. That is. There is. Oh. oh, what's this? These are shiitake mushrooms. Nice. Now, if you don't have shiitake mushrooms, you can't find them. Sometimes they're not always available. Okay. You can substitute brown karminis, um, but shiitakes are are traditionally used in Asian cooking. Yeah, and We've got hilarious some to say. Ca uh, matchstick carrots, which you can buy ready cut like this in the store. You mm -hmm. don't have to. Um, have to uh, do them up yourself. This recipe will be on foodmanitoba.ca and just based on how it smells right now, I encourage mm -hmm. you strongly to do this one. That's so we oh, would let, that's good. We would let that cook for about 10 minutes. All right. After about 10 minutes, we're gonna add our vermicelli noodles. Yep. Bring now, I have some here. I'm not gonna add them in just yet because our soup needs to simmer some more, but you can get vermicelli noodles in all different shapes and sizes. There's another brand here. Um, you can see the noodles are a little bit thinner. So as long as they're rice noodles, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter what the brand is or, or what kind they are. You can also get brown rice noodles. Um, and then we would add these in. It probably takes about another eight to 10 minutes after that for the noodles to cook. Okay. And then once um, the pho is finished, um, we would ladle it into individual bowls and garnish with the green of the green onion, some um, bean sprouts, 
we would put those into the individual bowls and then my secret weapon. And this is? Which is Thai basil. Thai basil. Now Thai basil is a lot different from regular basil. It's got a bit of a licorice -y, um, flavor to it and it's absolutely delicious. Incredible. Again, go to foodmanitoba.ca for the Vietnamese pork pho. I love it. We'll be right back and put more pork on your fork.